Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have a new ride and review for you today. I'm going to um, meet the cake dealer at a new, new-ish French steakhouse downtown. Um, it's called La Marchande. From what I understand about French vocabulary, that translates roughly to the businesswoman, which makes sense, it's on Wall Street. 88 Wall Street, right near water. Um, menu looks good, looks promising. It's got like a little bit of Asian fusion in, in there too. I guess Vietnamese, maybe they're, um, maybe the French are trying to make amends for uh, imperialism in, uh, in Vietnam <laughs> all those years ago, uh, but we'll see. We'll see, I'm just gonna zip down there, meet up with the cake dealer. Um, sounds a little different on the bike today. Uh, that's because I'm on the Chimera. This is my first ride and review on the Chimera. I got it uh, a few days ago. I'm still ramping up the settings. Uh, I'm at about mid power right now. I haven't increased up to full power yet. Still taking it easy. I don't know, maybe I'll hit like 28 miles an hour now and got some nice torque. Brakes are good. It's uh, very light. I think it comes in at total 38 pounds. Um, it feels like a toy. It really, really does. Oh, what do we do here? What's going on? They closed off this, uh, this bike path just for this like 10 feet. I'm stuck behind these walkers. I don't know what's going on with this bike pad. Anyway, it feels like a toy, I guess, because it kind of is a toy. Um, it's super light, it's super small, and I'm super annoyed at this redirection of traffic here. I wanted to take it easy on the uh, bike path, but apparently that's not in the cards. Well, at least I could get some, uh, some speed in. So I'm just, um, this is a bumpy road too. I'm just taking uh, this down to basically around by the seaport, which I'm not far from at this point. And then it'll be like a right, I think it's a right on Wall Street. Let's see if I can get out in front of some of these cars. Oh, bumpy. The bumps feel different on this thing, for sure. Coming up underneath the uh, Manhattan Bridge here. Very loud. very different ride sitting on a regular bicycle seat than the zoos and especially then different than the, uh, the suspension ride very much enjoying this bike so far I um, I'll give a speed test soon like maybe my next video will be a speed test on this uh, with the settings at, at full power right now I'm at like you know, 2,000 watts, uh, half a second throttle response, and like 11% field weakening, which probably only gonna get me up to 28 miles an hour at this point. But when I, when I unleash it back to full potential, I'll be probably somewhere between 35 and 40 miles an hour. Um, and a lot more torque. So like those videos where you see the Chimera wheels spinning and it sounds bonkers, 
is um, like right now if I did that it would sound like a tame version a tamed out version so but it's good it allows me to it allows me to ease into the power of the bike my experience with um, two wheels motorized is only the zoos I, I don't come from a motorcycle background I've never ridden dirt bikes so this is all um, this is all new but man it feels good and it's fun to ride it is fun to ride this thing we'll see how the speed uh, was there probably about 28 maybe 30 pretty empty down here I guess everyone's working from home today <laughs> seaport So yeah, this, um, this place, my wife found it. I hadn't heard of it. She said it was on her list of places to try. Everything looks good. Hopefully it, um, hopefully it delivers. Let's see. Where we at, Maiden? Let's see, wall's gotta be coming up. Is that it up there? Yeah, and I think I gotta go the, the wrong direction on it for like a street and a half. I just gotta cross water. In fact, I'm gonna go right on the sidewalk. And just, oh no, I'll just go right here. Oh, a truck. That's not good. Okay, I see it. See it in the distance. Yeah, this road is terrible. Even on the zoos, this is this is rough. Even on the, the flex, this is rough. All right, there it is. I'm gonna find a spot to park. It's right ahead. Um, see you guys on the inside. Happy anniversary. Yeah, and like even the snacks look good. Charcuterie, beef tartare summer roll. That was one I thought might look good. The bone marrow, carpaccio, pink salmon, carpaccio. Yeah. And the marrow. Man, what are we gonna choose here? So what's in your cocktail? I got blue cheese olives. Beef tartare summer rolls with fermented chili oil. Ooh, a shiso leaf. I love those. That's really good, perfectly dressed. A little crunchy crisp from the, those rice crisps on there. The oil is good, it's not too spicy. Table side bone marrow. Better than table side salad. Table side bone Beef bacon. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, we do have the lamb prime. We did have that, and it would come with the um, fried rice pilaf. So think like a lamb fried rice. I saw that was still on the menu, lamb bacon fried rice. I'm like, that one, we made sure to keep it. <laughs> um, I want to say around this time last year, or like summer of last year. Y'all look good too. <laughs> No, whatever y'all are doing it, it works for real. 15 years of this. Is that like onion or something? No, it was um it was red cabbage. Oh, it looks really good. Thank you.
Yeah. The miso cream spinach. It looks nicely cooked. Well, there's some tomatoes in there. Oh, the vanilla Basque cheesecake. That's too much. Maybe, maybe this custard latte. It looks awesome. It looks really good. And what's that little dish in the middle? Individual fluff. Oh, that's the yes, yes, yeah, yes. What was it, fluff? Chai, right? Chai. All right, so La Marchand. Um, mixed, mixed review here. Um, I'll put it into my. If you go to JohnnyPrimeSteaks.com, by the time I edit this video and post it, there'll be a full um, steakhouse review on my. 10 categories of 10 points per category scoring system for a total of 100 points. This will probably be around like mid 70s, uh, maybe mid 70s, low 80s, somewhere in that area. I haven't worked it all out yet. It's still uh, fresh in my head. I got to think about it. But we started with, uh, first of all, the drinks were good. The cocktails were good. Um, I had a nice martini, the basic martini is good, and then their signature cocktails are nice too. My wife had something that was kind of like a spicy margarita. Um, I, uh, we started off with, uh, the first was um, this summer roll beef tartare lemongrass sauce wrap. So like I was saying before on the way here, they're, they're giving a nod to like Vietnamese food, right? So the summer rolls in Vietnamese food are, you know, real light and fresh. And that's the, that was what the case was with this too. They added a little bit of crunch element with these little um, crunchy, poppy uh, rice, rice puffs in there. It was a very successful dish. I, I liked it. It's a great new way to eat um, steak tartare. The only negative was the wrap was a little bit loose. Like it kind of fell apart when you picked it up. So maybe they just need to learn how to wrap them better. We also did the, um, the bone marrow, which was like a little bit of a table side presentation. Um, not really like theatrical, like Nusrat Salpe, but it, it wasn't necessary. And also I felt like it was a little bit overpriced. 32 bucks and it was basically just a glorified bread service. It was like a sandwich. And I really just wanted to keep it simple with, uh, you know, bread and uh, like toasty bread and, and some nice, nice marrow. So past that, you're better off getting a burger, comes with fries for a few bucks less. Um, then for the mains, my wife had um, bacon wrapped venison loin, which was very nice. It was lean clean it had a, like an irony flavor um as is often the case with super lean animals like that but it was not game uh, a lot of times venison is game this was not uh very good nicely seasoned cooked you know nice medium rare all the way through and um and i had the domestic wagyu boneless ribeye it was way too salty it was just salted to death. I could not finish it. It was um, it was grating on my on my senses. And I like salt. Um, I am a salt fiend. However, they ruined it. Um, I didn't have the heart to send it back. I, I don't send back food. Usually don't. Anyway, today is an exception. I didn't send back the steak. I muscled through about half of it and then just left it. But um, I mean, just I feel bad because it's such a it's such an expensive cut of meat and it's not something that they make a lot of money on anyway. Having been in that business for so long, I kind of know the ins and outs. Um, so yeah, that sucked. Um, 
And the same thing happened with the side. Uh, side of mushrooms was way oversalted. M my wife and I took one bite each, and we actually couldn't couldn't eat anymore. We actually sent that back. That was the I haven't sent anything back probably in, in at least 10, 15 years. It was um, it was a mess. Um, they they made it right though. They took off a bunch of items from the bill at the end. They um, they gave us a replacement app, which was um, like this bean casserole thing, which I never would have ordered, in a, you know, in a million years. But it was actually really good. It was probably the second best item aside from the, the beef tartare wrap. So pleasantly surprised on that. The other side item we had was uh, miso creamed spinach, keeping with the um, Asian fusion menu here. Uh, oh, what's going on there? Asian fusion menu, uh, miso cream spinach. Uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was going to flop, but it was pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else? Those were the three sides. Oh, then dessert. So we ordered, um, we ordered the Basque cheesecake. Um, it was good. I've had better, but it was, it was passable. I think there was some, uh, maybe cardamom in it, something a little bit like a slightly exotic kind of spice to it, vanilla, cardamom, and that was nice. Um, they forgot to bring out our egg coffee, which is another uh, Vietnamese nod. Um, egg coffee with, um, you know, condensed milk is kind of a sweet treat coffee in that cuisine. They didn't bring it out, they forgot. On the other hand, they did give us uh, each two glasses of bubbly, one glass at the beginning of the meal and one at the end of the meal because my wife told them it was our anniversary. So for the mistakes that they made, they, they sort of made up for it a bit with the, uh, with the nice gestures and the service was great. So, I mean, I don't know if I'd go back Maybe there's like one or two items that I wanted to try. They have a peri peri chicken, which I love. It's like spicy um, Asian African chicken dish, grilled, spicy, uh, and they called it a feast, so it probably feeds a few people. So I wanted, I would love to try that, but now I'm worried peri peri sauce is very salty. So I'm now worried if they're gonna screw that up and make that extra salty. So we'll, I don't know. It would take some convincing to go back, but. There's, there's a possibility that I could go. But I guess that's about it. Pretty quick rundown of everything. The Johnny Prime website, johnnyprimesteaks.com, will have a bigger, uh, more fulsome review uh, with all the pictures, all the details. You know the drill. So make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you tell your friends and your family and as usual, you know I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it proudly. you got to tell your fucking grandma. Tell that bitch about this channel already. If you haven't done it, do it now. Do it now! Do it!